how is everyone? I hope everyone is good. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a haul video, which I have not done for a very long time. I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I have bought over the last week, because I've had a little bit of an upgrade. Um, I've been getting a lot of supplies recently, um, as my better breeding hobby is expanding. I've had to upgrade quite a lot of things and stock up on a lot of things. So I thought in this video I would just show you some of the things that I have bought um, for my baby betters. So if you are new around here and you've never seen my face before, hi, nice to meet you. Um, my name is Grace, I'm a better breeder and um, yeah, these are my better babies and I will be selling them in the coming week. Yeah, basically the first lot of baby betters are going to be going up for sale next week. Once those ones have gone up for sale, I'm going to have a constant supply of babies for sale over the next couple months because there are so many of them. Um, I'm kind of doing them in batches. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of baby betters for sale. So if you are in the UK and are wanting to buy a new better fish, um, bear me in mind. So yeah, let's just get into the video. In my last video I spoke a little bit more in depth about my shelving unit so if you haven't seen that video um, I'll link that as well and you can go and watch that. Um, but yeah, this is my new shelving unit. It was £25-ish on Amazon and yeah, I'm loving it so so much at the moment. I have got my breeding tank on the bottom, then I've got my trio tank which you might be able to see just behind me here and then I've got two rows of baby jars um, so yeah I've uncarded them at the moment so hopefully you guys can see them flaring at each other in the background also sorry if the lighting keeps changes sitting in front of a mirror the sun and the clouds change sometimes that's the thing that happens um, so yeah, my new shelving unit. It has made things so much easier. I set it up the weekend just gone. Um, so I haven't been using it for too long, but already it's just made things so, so quicker. Feeding is so much easier. Water changes, so much easier. Um, so yeah, my new shelving unit. Okay, the second thing that I wanted to show you guys, and probably the most boring thing, is a big bucket. A very, very, very big bucket. This is a 10 litre bucket and on the bucket it says ultimate car care made easy. Um, I don't know about car care but it's definitely made water changes a lot lot easier. I have been using this bucket for a few days um, and honestly it's so much easier having a big bucket. Um, so at the moment I've got two buckets, I've got a smaller one and the bigger one um, and it's just made things so much easier so I can dump dirty water into the blue bucket, my little tiny blue bucket and then I've got this one which I can have clean water in and it's just so much easier doing it that way. Also when I clean out the breeding tank it's so much easier because I'm not constantly running backwards and forwards to the bathroom I just have a big big bucket that I can put all of the water into um, yeah only problem with this is it gets quite heavy um, the first time I used it I filled it all the way up to the top and then I went to pick it up and I was like no this isn't this isn't gonna work um, big bucket I'm not sure how much this was but I got it on Amazon as most of the stuff I bought on Amazon um, a bucket great okay the next thing is slightly more I was gonna say interesting it's not interesting but you're gonna learn something here okay so the next thing that I bought is a big bag of salt this is kosher salt this is basically exactly the same thing as the API aquarium salt that everyone buys but it is so so much cheaper I'm gonna put like the um, I'm going to put like a comparison up on the screen. If you have better fish, you will most likely know about aquarium salt. Aquarium salt is really, really good for better fish. It helps their fins regrow. You don't want to overdo it on the aquarium salt because it can actually damage the slime coat. But if you are using it to treat fin rot or just as a precautionary measure every now and then, um, yeah, aquarium salt is really, really good. Aquarium salt is literally kosher salt. If you look at the ingredients on aquarium salt, it's sea salt um, without any caking ingredients. If you look at the ingredients in kosher salt, 
it is sea salt with no caking ingredients so that is what you want and um, you can also use pickling salts um, sea salt um, literally any kind of salt that doesn't have any caking agents in it. In my baby's jars and in the breeding tanks I do use aquarium salt with every single water change that I do just because I want to prevent them from getting any parasites or illnesses um, it really really helps them regrow their fins in the breeding tank if they've had any, any nips taken out of them. For my pet better fish I don't use aquarium salt every single time I do a water change mainly because I've got plants in their tanks and I don't want to ruin the plants um, but every now and then I'll give them a little bit of a salt bath but yeah, I use this every single day basically okay, let's move on to foods the next thing that I bought is decapsulated brine shrimp eggs in a liquid um, so if you are unaware, baby betters when they are first born they will only go for live moving food um, so the best food source that you can give them is baby brine shrimp um, and you you need to hatch them out yourself. There are three different types of baby brine shrimp eggs that you can get. Um, the first one being just the normal brine shrimp eggs. Put them in like a little bit of salt and they hatch out. Um, so yeah, they're probably the ones that I use the most. And then there are two different types of decapsulated eggs. The first one being like a dried decapsulated egg. They are bright orange and they're just dried eggs. They won't hatch, but you can use them as a food source, especially when you're transitioning um, betters from live food to dry food or dead food or frozen. Um, yeah, they're a really, really good way of transferring them over to different food sources. And then there are decapsulated brine shrimp eggs in a liquid. These ones will actually hatch. You can feed them just like literally by pouring this into the um, tank if you want them to just eat the eggs um, they'll still get the same nutritional value from um, the eggs as they would do to freshly hatched brine shrimp or you can actually hatch these very similarly to similarly a word similarly similar I don't know. Um, you can hatch these very similarly to how you would hatch the normal baby brine shrimp eggs. Put these in the hatchery and they will hatch and you can feed these to your babies. So yeah, these work literally exactly the same as they would do um, if they were capsulated, like they're still in the eggs. Um, the only difference is that these hatch a little bit faster and because they've had the outer shell taken off them there's no chance of parasites or anything like that. Um, basically the ones that you get that are like dried eggs, if you feed those ones you're more likely to get parasites in the tank because the outer shell um, hasn't been treated like these ones have. I really really like these but I do prefer using the just normal like dried um, brine shrimp eggs. I feel like they hatch a lot quicker. I feel like there's a larger hatch rate with them. Um, but yeah, these work as well and it's really handy that you can just feed these to the fish. I do prefer the other ones but these ones are just handy to have as well. Um, so yeah, there's that. Okay, I also picked up, I didn't pick up, I added it to my basket and someone sent it to me and I unwrapped it. Anyway, a massive tub of Rapashi Spawn and Grow. This is the food that I think has made my Dumbo betters grow so, so quickly. Um, I had a smaller one, literally this is the container that I had before, very, very tiny as you can see. Um, but yeah, the betters absolutely love it and as I'm planning on doing this for a very long time, um, I thought I would get the big tub. This is a 340 gram jar. Um, yeah, my betters absolutely love this. Again, it's a really great way of transitioning betters over from um, live food to dead food. Um, but yeah, they absolutely love this. They go crazy over it. I'll try and insert like a video clip of my betters when they're a little bit younger, just going absolutely crazy over this. Um, yeah, they, they absolutely love it and I strongly recommend this to anyone that is breeding betters. Um, in the UK it's kind of harder to get it, you can get it, but it's quite expensive. Um, I'm not sure how much I paid for this, but I will put that somewhere. Um, yeah, really, really love this. Basically, it's like a dry food. It stinks, by the way. Like, it, it smells disgusting. Um, it is a dry food, like that. And basically, you put a little bit of this. Um, basically, you put a little bit of this. 
Oh my god, I can still smell it. Um, basically how I prepare this is I get a little bit and I put it into like a little container. I add boiling water on top and it forms like a jelly. Um, once that is completely set I will empty it and put it into the grow out tank and they go crazy. Um, so yeah, really really love this food. I don't love it. My betters love the food. But yeah, it's really, really fatty. I wouldn't recommend feeding it for a long period of time. Um, it also makes a really, really big mess in the breeding tank. Like, it makes bits, like, float everywhere and it's kind of gross. So basically, my baby betters, I feed them three times a day. Um, so, if I'm feeding them this, one meal a day will be this. And then their other two meals will either be frozen blood worms or live grindle worms. So, yeah, they've got quite a good mixture of food going there. Okay, the last food items that I want to show you are frozen food, so I want to do this a little bit kind of quickly because they're cold and I want them to go back in the freezer. Um, I bought these. I just ran up and down the stairs to go and get these and I'm out of breath. <sighs> okay, we've got frozen bloodworms and frozen daphnia. Um, they smell really bad. As you can see, I've already used some of these, but I wanted to show you like how they arrive. Um, I don't leave them in these. What I do is I pop all of the cubes out, I put them in like a Ziploc bag, and I smash them all up. I add a little bit of water, and I freeze them together so that they're flat. And then when I want to use them, I can break a little bit off that big frozen slab and use that instead. Um, the reason why I do that instead of having them in like these little cubes is sometimes I don't want to use a whole cube. Um, so yeah, it's just so much easier to do that. Um, all of my betters love bloodworms. The bigger ones aren't so keen on Daphnia, but it's really, really handy to have Daphnia around because Daphnia is really, really good for like clearing out their systems. Um, so yeah, Daphnia, bloodworms, and I need to, um, smash them all up. So the last thing that I want to show you guys, I actually spoke about this in a video with Frankie from Frankie's Aquatics. Um, we made a video about, we actually made two videos, um, but we made a video each for our channels about the worst, um, better tanks that are on the market at the moment. And I actually bought one. Um, I actually bought two of them, but it's the same, it's the same thing, but I bought two of them. Um, I am majorly shocked at how small these are. I'm not planning on using these to house betters in. I was actually planning on using them as like a photography tank for when I'm taking pro, pro pictures of my betters for selling. I have got a better photography tank that I actually made myself and it's currently leaking. It's not very good, it leaks all the time. I've tried to reseal it, um, but the plastic is like really, really weak and it just it breaks all the time. Yeah, they're so much smaller than I was expecting and when I actually got the parcel, I was like, oh, they've only sent me one of them. No, 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 they're just absolutely tiny. And I'm like, shocked. Like, someone in this world has got their better in this tank, tank, permanently, and this is where their better is living. Um, let me show you because this, like this, this, Th th this is marketed as a better tank. Can, can, like, I don't know what to compare it to. A gel pen. So yeah, I got two of these. I was expecting them to be a lot bigger. And as I said, the reason why I bought them is not to house better fish. I got them so that I could take pictures of my better fish in a small environment. Wasn't expecting it to be this small. I kind of really want to do like a really in-depth video as to why these are just awful. It's literally smaller than my hand, like it's tiny. If you've got a living creature in something as small as this, you need to do daily water changes. The only way that you can do a water change is by pouring the water out of this tiny little hole up here, which I'm guessing is like a feeding hole, um, or you have to take all of this plastic out of the other plastic. Uh, it slides out, slides out like that. Okay. And and they're in that. Yeah, I can't use this. It's all warped. <sighs> yeah, so I need to come up with something else. Um, ow. <laughs> yeah, I need to come up with a better way of taking pro pictures of my fish because this 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 isn't gonna work. It's all scratched. It's it's 
these aren't going to work. What I was using before is something this size which I made myself. Um, it's kind of gross at the moment but like I said it's leaking and I've sealed it a lot. Like I don't even know if you guys can see like how sealed this is but the plastic's really really thin. This is the kind of size that I was wanting. Um, not, not this. Like it's, uh, it's so small. Yeah. So yeah if you're thinking of buying this don't. Cute little light in there. Nice. Don't. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you liked it. If you're new around here, make sure that you subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram if you do not already follow me on Instagram. Um, if you are interested in buying a fishy, um, you can either Instagram, DM me, um, you can email me, or you can have a look on my eBay store when it is live it's not yet live at the time of filming this it's not live but if you're watching this like in the future a little bit it'll be live so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next video bye guys